I am a 95 born baby yet I think I wasn't immune to the music and the sensation that uh, disco dancer created while while it was released and even the years after it uh, and I think even the generations after me can groove to that music as easily as the generation of my parents would have uh, well welcome Philemon sir uh, to this particular interview now we're here to talk about this uh, sensational and iconic musical show uh, that y'all are about to do, you and Salim, sir. Uh, please tell us, like to start with it, please tell us a little about the show. So, you know, Disco Dancer, uh, it's a 1982 film. And yeah. uh, when we finished Umrao Jan, uh, which also performed at the Sadler's Wells, uh, mm-hmm. we were looking for a film that we could uh, adapt to the theater to, you know, live theater. And uh, we found Disco Dancer, which was just perfect. It's a great story, very yeah. over the top Bollywood, uh, thanks to riches. It's got the whole, you know, the actor, the villain, the love angle, the mother, you know, yeah. all of that. And to top it all, it had great music. It's, uh, one of Papida's finest music. Yes, and uh, so we we actually, you know, saw all the things that would make the right kind of uh, masala for the right ingredients for a great uh, uh, theater release. Right. And I think even I remember while growing up, I mean, I come from a family which is a singing enthusiastic family. So like my mother sings, my father sings, but I think every time, and every time there's an Antakshari or anything, none of us can remember the new songs. I think it's only the old legendary songs that come to mind. So, I mean, this movie itself, Disco Dancer itself, had some of the most iconic songs of its time. So which one would you say is your favorite out of the two? Like, I would three major. Well, so like, many, you know, actually, yeah. uh, I'm a disco dancer. Awa yes. Awa, Jimmy Jimmy, Goro Kina Kalo Ki. There's so many songs. And uh, to top it all, we've done a couple of songs uh, yes. because there was a requirement in terms of the script. Yes. And uh, we've tried to create, you know, the songs in the same genre and the same family of yes. keeping in mind that Bapida had a certain amount of sound, certain kind of uh, vision on this so we we made sure that it stays in the family of the same songs. But yeah, it's a great, great film, great songs. And Definitely. we were so, uh, you know, we were so careful about uh, when we were recreating the songs to not make it into a remix. Right. Because, you know, you, you're actually keeping these songs as the original songs and not we want to remind people of the nostalgia of 1982, uh, of the original film, all the all the drama that it had. So we didn't want to take away from that and create a controversy or anything like that, saying that, hey, you know, the original song sounded better than the remix, and why would right. we definitely? Um, that's so iconic. So we we've tried to keep it as authentic as possible. Uh, the singers are live on stage, so right. they have, they're singing it. Uh, and uh, it's just one of those grand musicals which is going to come and rock London. Right, definitely, for sure. And I, I'm sure anybody who knows of this is waiting for it. But still, if I had to ask, like, Jimmy, Jimmy, I'm a disco dancer, and go yaha nache nache, which would you pick if you had to ask you what? I would say Jimmy, Jimmy. Definitely. I think yeah. even that's and my favorite it, too. He has a lot more fun. <laughs> yes. There's a lot of fun vibe to it. Uh, well, I mean, uh, uh, may his soul rest in peace. I think, we, unfortunately, we lost Bappi Larry, sir, this year. Uh, and I'm sure it was, it was devastating for the music industry as well. Yeah. Uh, but as a performer, is there anything that you would like to remember him or you remember him by or something that, you know, a piece of advice maybe you've gotten along the line from him if you met him? In fact, we met him when uh, when we were, we started this project in 2019. Right. 
we started working on Disco Dancer, the musical, in 2019. And uh, when we met Bapida, he said, you know, I'm so glad you guys are doing uh, the recreation. Because I don't, I don't think I can trust anybody else to, to recreate it the way you guys would recreate it. And he, he was quite sure that we would not try and mess with his production and his, uh, he had a style and he had a flair. So, yes. and he was very happy that we were doing it and he gave us his blessings and it was really nice. Well, I think I'm sure we it. all can, yes. I'm sure, I mean, we all can agree with that. I mean, uh, if we actually think of an iconic duo uh, in India, I think only yours and Salim sir's my, uh, name comes to mind. Because so there good. are, Thank you, so much. you yourself, you're welcome. You yourselves have such iconic songs to your kitty, I'm sure. And uh, I mean, all of us, I mean, love, the, love those songs as well. So you recreating an entire legacy of Bappi Lehri, so I think it'd be amazing to watch, I'm sure. Uh, but at the same note, I'd also like to ask, how does it feel like what this responsibility of carrying forward uh, an, a legacy that is evergreen, you know, since 1982, it went international in Adam yeah. Sandler's movie as well. It was featured in Adam Sandler's movie. So how does it feel like that responsibility, that feeling from inside? What is the feeling that you get? You know, it's, it's a, it's a feeling of responsibility that yeah. it has to be, it has to be uh, in its original form. So you don't want to mess around with it and, you know, remix it and all of that. And uh, there's a responsibility to the, to the uh, musical as well, you know, to, to, to the fans out there that yeah. you want to bring that nostalgia when you go see uh, Jimmy with his guitar and, all yeah. of that you want to you want people to remember the film you want people to go back with a feeling of happiness that hey i'm so glad i went and saw this uh musical it right. kind of took me back to my my childhood or my teen years or whatever so there is that sense of responsibility that you want to make sure that people go and enjoy and have a great time watching this this good answer definitely and i'm sure that people are going to uh, because uh, I think they're also expecting that the Kurba Hua iconic duo to just be there and create the magic, recreate actually, recreate the magic that has already been uh, here for so many years. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's a 1982 release music. It was Absolutely. so way ahead of its time. What would you say about that? What is this? Like, it was, it was it? always way ahead of its time. He was, yes. uh, I would call Bappi Larry the king of disco for Definitely. Indian film. Yes, he did so so much of the the disco stuff, and even you know even if you go down to like the introduction of Pagunguru uh, Band uh, Mira Nachi Oh yes, you know uh, he was he was legendary in his in his thinking and his approach, and uh, it's you know he is one of those guys, the king of uh, Indian disco for sure. And I think to combine it with uh, Mithun sir, uh, he himself is in it, uh, uh, is iconic. So I think that uh, whatever you're going to recreate, I'm sure it's going to be magical. Uh, I in, I mean, I can't wait to watch it, I'm sure. And I wasn't even born during that uh, period when this move, movie and this whole music was released and everything. It's just, I mean, uh, I think it feels really... It, it feels good that y'all are bringing it back. Uh, especially it's only, it's only one week to go. It's only yes. one week to go. And it's, yes. it's in Sadler as well. Uh, we can't wait to for you guys to see it. Definitely. And I think I've seen in London, I mean, a lot of streets still play that music uh, from Bappi uh, Lehri Sir's movie, uh, music. And I think that in itself is something to be, you know, respectful about and be grateful about to have such a legacy uh, back in India. Absolutely. But yes, I mean, uh, thank you for speaking with us. Thank you for giving us your time. And I'm so, I mean, Londoners, please be ready and buckle up for this huge and one of the most iconic musicals and duo of all time, Salim and Suleiman, sir, on 16th to 20th of November at uh, Sadler's West Theatre. Anything that you'd like to say to your audiences and your fans who are eager to watch you? I know, uh, 
uh, it's a great musical. It's got all the masala. It'll transport you back. Uh, it'll make you cry. It'll make you laugh. It'll make you sing <laughs> with live music. Uh, well, live singing. And uh, yes. we've worked really hard on uh, making sure that you guys have a great time while watching it. So please go out there and watch it. Definitely. I'm sure we everybody is going to. And all the best for the show. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I am a 95 born baby, yet I think I wasn't immune to the music and the sensation that uh, Disco Dancer created while, while it was released and even the years after it. Uh, and I think even the generations after me can groove to that music as easily as the generation of my parents would have. Uh, well, welcome Philemon, sir, uh, to this particular interview. Now, we're here to talk about this uh, sensational and iconic musical show uh, that y'all are about to do, you and Salim, sir. Uh, please tell us, like to start with it, please tell us a little about the show. So, you know, Disco Dancer, uh, it's a 1982 film. And yeah. uh, when we finished Umrao Jan, uh, which also performed at the Sadler's Wells, uh, mm. we were looking for a film that we could uh, adapt to the theater to, you know, live theater. And uh, we found Disco Dancer, which was just perfect. It's a great story, very yeah. over the top Hollywood, uh, back to riches. It's got the whole, you know, the actor, the villain, the love angle, the mother, you know, yeah. all of that. And to top it all, it had great music. It's, uh, one of Papida's finest music. Yes, and uh, so we we actually, you know, saw all the things that would make the right kind of uh, masala for the right yeah. ingredients for a great uh, uh, theater release. Right. And I think even I remember while growing up, I mean, I come from a family which is a singing enthusiastic family. So like my mother sings, my father sings, but I think every time, and every time there's an Antakshari or anything, none of us can remember the new songs. I think it's only the old legendary songs that come to mind. So, I mean, this movie itself, Disco Dancer itself, had some of the most iconic songs of its time. Absolutely. So which one would you say is your favorite out of the two? Like, I would three major. Well, like, so many, you know, actually, yeah. uh, I'm a disco dancer. Yes. Awa, Awa, Jimmy, Jimmy, Goro Kina Kalo Ki. There's so many songs. And uh, to top it all, we've done a couple of songs uh, yes. because there was a requirement in terms of the script. Yes. And uh, we've tried to create, you know, the songs in the same genre and the same family of yes. keeping in mind that Papida had a certain amount of sound, certain kind of uh, vision on this. So we we made sure that it stays in the family of the same songs. But yeah, it's a great, great film, great songs. And Definitely. we were so, uh, you know, we were so careful about uh, when we were recreating the songs to not make it into a remix. Right. Because, you know, you, you're actually keeping these songs as the original songs and not we want to remind people of the nostalgia of 1982, uh, of the original film, all the all the drama that it had. So we didn't want to take away from that and create a controversy or anything like that, saying that, hey, you know, the original song sounded better than the remix, and why would right. we read definitely? That's so iconic. So we we've tried to keep it as authentic as possible. Uh, the 60s 